Well, let me mention a few announcements. Well, while it's wonderful to be able to have a recording of a church service, we certainly miss out on the face-to-face -face fellowship, and I'm sure you've been feeling that over the last couple of weeks. Well, one way we'd like to try and make up for that is having a cuppa at home. Through the service Zoom, you'll be able to see and talk with others from church, and if you send me a text message, I'll be able to get you connected with the invitation details. We're aiming to start at around 11 o'clock this morning, and I hope you can join us then. And as we've said over the last couple of weeks, there's also an online group on WhatsApp where you're able to share your prayer requests and what you're learning from the Bible. And we've started a group for the congregation from Wodonga as well. So if you'd like to be a part of that, send me a message on 0421 798 205 and we'll get you connected. We've also put in place a facility for people who aren't online to be able to hear these services. And if you're joining us on the phone, thanks very much. It's good to have you with us. If you'd like to share that number with someone else, it's 57533220. And the services will be available all through the week. And finally, there's no offering in this service, but you can make your regular giving by contacting your local treasurer and asking for the details so you can deposit an offering into the church bank account. Well, we're going to be joined by Colin Buchanan again for this week's Kids Talk. I hope you were able to catch him on Wednesday night on the Gospel Coalition website. It was a great evening. And we're certainly hoping he'll be doing that again. Here's Colin. I'm Colin, and um, I was going to ask you a question. Are there things that you can control? I know there are a lot of things that we can't control. We can't change them. But the, there are a lot of things that you know, we can control. And in fact, I wanted to show you something. I've got my phone here. It's amazing what phones can do nowadays. I, I'll show you. I can control my garage door. Uh, this one. Garage door, uh, let me see, up. Good, okay, garage door down. It's good, isn't it? Okay, garage door down, and garage door up. Amazing, what else can I control? Um, I can control, oh, the, it's uh, air conditioner. It's a bit hot in here, so uh, air conditioner on. Ah, a bit colder. That's, that's, no, that's getting, it's getting a bit cold. Uh, air condition warmer. W warmer, warmer, warmer. Ah, it's, oh, 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 stop, turn air conditioner off. Ah, stopped it. Very good. Um, I know, I'll use Silly. Silly's quite handy. Hey, Silly, turn on the television. Ding, ding, turning television on. You can hear it. Hey, silly, turn the television up. Silly, turn the television down. Thank you, silly. That's enough. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just remembered. Hey, silly, remind me to buy eggs. <laughs> there is a lot that we can control and a lot that we cannot control. But I wonder, do you know who controls everything, who knows all things, and nothing takes him by surprise? I think you know the answer. God. And in fact, there's a, there's a Bible verse about that. Psalm 90 verse 2 says, from everlasting to everlasting, forever and ever, you are God. Now, I want to sing a song called... Nothing takes God by surprise, because nothing does. All right, here we go. In the beginning, God spoke a word, and that's how the world began. And every moment till the end of time is part of his wonderful plan. And nothing takes God by surprise, no, no, who? That's your bit. Nothing takes God by surprise. No, no. Ooh. That's it. He is sovereign. He's in control. Nothing takes God by surprise. No, no, no. Right. Good bits, the bad bits, and all of your life. No matter what. Jesus can carry you through. Yes, he can. 
to chance. That's why we call him Lord. Because nothing takes God by surprise. No, no. <laughs> nothing takes God by surprise. No, no. No, no, knowing. Now, I thought of something else, something from the Bible, because God is in control and Jesus, God's son, says something wonderful to his people in Revelation, in the book of Revelation. I've got my Bible here. It's another part of the Bible to read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 18. Jesus says to his frightened people, I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death. Whoa, how precious. Did you notice that Jesus said that his people had to do something? They had to look. Yes, that's right. And when they looked, they could see that Jesus, who used to be dead, was alive. That's right. So we look to God and that life that he lives becomes our life by faith. So look to God and believe and look to God in his word. That's so important. We should do that all the time. And look to God by praying to him. We need to learn to stop what you're doing and pray to Jesus. Stop what you're doing and pray to Jesus. Stop what you're doing and pray to Jesus. Mighty, mighty Jesus. When you're laughing, <laughs> pray to Jesus. When you're crying, <laughs> pray to Jesus. When you're bored, whatever pray to Jesus mighty mighty Jesus when you're noisy noisy ah! pray to Jesus when you're cranky mm, cranky pray to Jesus when you're hmm, naughty Pray to Jesus, mighty, mighty Jesus. When you're oh, hurting, pray to Jesus. When you're uh, uh, frightened, pray to Jesus. When you're uh, 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 when you're sleepy. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Pray to Jesus, mighty, mighty Jesus. There's a chorus. Big, big, good, good, mighty, mighty Jesus. Big, big, good, good, mighty, mighty Jesus. Big, big, good, good, mighty, mighty Jesus. Mighty, 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 mighty Jesus. He's mighty and he's good. How precious. And we should pray to him right now. Let's stop what we're doing and pray to Jesus. Will you pray with me? I close my eyes to help me think about what I'm saying. Our dear Lord and Saviour Jesus, our dear mighty, mighty God, we praise you because you are from everlasting to everlasting. You are the first and the last. Nothing takes you by surprise. Mighty Jesus, you died 
And look, you rose again. Help us to look by faith, to look at your word, and to look in prayer. We pray all these things in our Saviour, Jesus' name. Amen. I like that verse in that last one. When you're sleepy, pray to Jesus. When you're Wait a minute. Hey Siri, I've fallen asleep. <laughs> well, it's always a good time to pray to Jesus. Let's do that together. Our loving Heavenly Father and God of all grace, you have given us the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, and so we ask that you would deepen our faith in him. Make him be the greatest desire and hope of our lives. We pray that we would know him to be our refuge. Build us up on him as our foundation. Help us to walk in his ways and follow him as our guide. Conform us to his example. Help us to hear his instructions as our prophet, rely on his prayers for us as our great high priest, and obey him as our king. We pray, our God, that we would never be ashamed of him or his words, but joyfully bear his reproach. May we never live in a way that displeases him by unholy or imprudent conduct. May we never follow the crowd and never delay to follow where his word leads us. Our God, we pray that your dear Son would preserve us in this present evil world. Help us to ignore its shining lights and not to seek its approval. Our God, we confess that we often do not live like this, and so we pray that you would forgive us because of the sacrifice of your spotless Lamb, your eternal Son. We ask our God that while we live as strangers and pilgrims here on earth, we would declare that we seek a heavenly city. May we know every evening that you have brought us a day's march nearer home. So please help us when our hearts are troubled, Remind us of your goodness to us in the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that you provide what we need for this life. We're especially thankful for the rain that's fallen so widely in many places this week. We're thankful for the safety we enjoy in this land. We uplift our leaders before you. Be with our Prime Minister and our Premiers and all of those who advise and counsel them. We ask that you would watch over our land and bring your deliverance for our world as well. We ask that it would all be for your glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's worship God by singing the words of Rock of Ages.